So what is hyper-independence? On one hand, it can give the impression you are a confident person who is capable of dealing with everything the world throws at you. However, for some individuals it can manifest in various ways and for reasons that don't immediately seem obvious. One common response inducing hyper-independence can be a survival mechanism to deal with a past trauma, and by developing the heightened sense of independence, it acts as a coping mechanism seemingly sufficient to deal with the trauma. Recognizing why you might respond to things in a certain way is mostly helpful to us, so here's how hyper-independence might relate to trauma. Traumatic experiences can lead individuals to feel a loss of control over their lives. In response, they may adopt hyper-independent behaviors as a means to regain a sense of control over their circumstances. And some people become hyper-independent as a way to protect themselves from being vulnerable to others, especially if they have experienced betrayal or harm from people they trusted. Hyper-independence can also be a way to avoid revisiting painful memories or emotions associated with the trauma. By focusing solely on themselves and their own abilities, individuals may try to distance themselves from past experiences, but this can really have a bad side effect in that it can slowly remove the person from society norms. Trauma can also erode trust in others, making it difficult for individuals to rely on anyone but themselves. Hyper-independence can stem from a fear of depending on others and a belief that one can only truly rely on oneself, and regardless of this being a realistic assessment, or not. In some cases, individuals who have experienced trauma may feel that they must fend for themselves in order to survive. This can lead to hyper-independent behaviors where they prioritize self-reliance above all else. However, it's important to note that while hyper-independence can serve as a coping mechanism in the short term, it may not always be healthy or sustainable in the long run and as YYZ Bruce personally found out. Healing from trauma often involves recognizing the need for support from others and learning to trust again. Therapy and support groups can be valuable resources for individuals who are struggling with trauma-related issues, including hyper-independence. So if you relate to any of this, seek support and at least know the facts about why you might be having difficulties in some of life's directions. We hope this has been helpful, but until next time, see ya!